Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love, and Healing Tarot. How are you? Hope you're well. Thank you for returning and following me. And those of you who have just arrived, join my channel. So here we go. We're going to do a love reading for twin flames, soulmates, romance, wherever you are uh, in love. And let's see what energies are guiding this reading for Gemini. I know that this is a collective reading, Gemini. So whatever resonates, wonderful. Whatever doesn't resonate, just leave it behind. Of course, we know to do that, right? So here we go with our Gemini love reading. What is the energy guiding this reading for our Geminis? What is it? Let's see. What have you been up to? Expression. Well, expression is a beautiful energy. It's about true essence through our communication and how we communicate with others. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Are you going to be communicating a lot? Are you uh, holding back? Um, is there something that needs more expression in love for your life? Okay, so let's see here with the Twin Flame Confession Oracles. We're going to see what the crowning energies of this reading are, what's coming in, what's in the heart, and what's the probable possibilities of the near future, next month, next year, next week, tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so let's see here for our Gemini. Let's see what's here. Awakening. There's a sun around you, Gemini. You are awakening. You have a feeling that you finally know something that makes you feel like you know everything about yourself. And so it is through expression that that happens when you feel solid and you're definitely expressing yourself, feeling good about it. Okay, that's feeling good. And then we have here, um, there's some resisting here in a connection. There seems to be, um, I think you rejected, you feel that like you've rejected someone or you're always rejecting people <laughs> or rejecting someone. Um, and I think that there's a rejection here. Uh, you're resisting a connection. Uh, and I think that that's coming up for you. You're going to be resisting a connection there's too much ego in it, and you're not surrendering to that. No, you, you're expressing more of your truth, and that's what you want. You want a love with commitment, not with ego. And there are lessons being learned, so you are definitely learning your lessons. Uh, there's definitely some divine lessons here, not just learning lessons. It's lessons of the heart that will take you to the next stage of any relationship that you might meet that might come into your life. Because right now I feel that you're just learning right now. You're learning about expression and how you want to be communicated with and to. So let's see what the tarot will tell us about this awakening to surrendering to your own expression. You want love with commitment. You don't want, you know, a male ego or ego in any of your love connections. And you are learning this. And so sometimes you need to be apart from any relationship to learn divine lessons of your heart. Okay, so let's see here what the, oops, we bent the card. I do not like that. Anyway, let's see what the tarot will tell us for our Gemini. We have a transition. So there was an ending. Um, there's always endings, you know, but right now, to me, the transition is about you surrendering to what you want in your life. Uh, you're not taking anything for granted. You want the real thing, and if it's not there, that's okay too, okay, because you're not settling. And so there's definitely a transition going on here for you in relationship and what you want and what you don't want, okay? So let me just fix this card here. There we go. That really bent out of shape there. My fault. Here we go. So let's see. Let's pull out two more cards to finish this row for our Gemini. What's in the heart here? And we have the King of Swords. So... This is about truth. This is about mental clarity. This is about emotional detachment. So when the King of Swords arrives here in the heart, and especially with the male ego resisting a connection, 
you definitely want the real thing. You don't want anything but. And so truth is very important here in your expression. You know, um, you don't want anyone to be obsessed and, and attached to you in a way that is codependent, okay? That, because you you become very independent, Gemini. You are definitely independent. And so let's see, what else can we tell you about this connection or story here that we have about what's going on in the moment? And we have the fool. So in this process, there's going to be a new beginning. There's going to be new love and new possibilities for you. And, and it's all up to you and how you um, express yourself, all right? Being in your truth is the most important thing. So let's keep going and throwing out some cards here for our Gemini. Let's keep going. Here we go. Thank you for being here. Here we go. So we have the Five of Swords. So, you know, in the past there was mind games probably, maybe betrayals as well, you know, and that creates toxicity in a relationship and you can't be with that. So that's where you've been coming from. That was your experience. Uh, but right now you're awakening to your own expression of truth, what you want. You want love with commitment. And you have the Three of Cups in celebration in your heart. Yes, you want friendship turns into love. So that happens. You know, sometimes we have to be friends with someone before it turns into love. So look out for that. You know, friendships are important. So look out for that. And then we have the King of Pentacles in the, in the future possibility where you'll definitely find someone who's loyal, secure, taking love seriously, right? So the King of Pentacles is very generous, very, very strong and grounded. He has the, what you call the uh, golden touch, you know. Um, so let's see uh, one more row for our Gemini, and then we'll pull out some clarifiers from the Lover's Path and see. But let's keep going here with the Tarot of Twin Flame Confessions and see where this is leading us. All right, so the King of Cups. Yeah, you want emotional maturity. You want devotion, protective uh, of love. You know, that's what you want. And that's very possible for you to have. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles in the heart. Long lasting you in marriage, style, a foundation. It's coming for you, uh, Gemini. If you want it, it's coming for you. It depends on that's what you want. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is something that you're doing right now, actually. Uh, looking, reevaluating, looking at the long-term view of your life, what's left, what's, what's promising. Let's see what else is going on now in the Lover's Path that will clarify these rows, each row here. Three cards for the Lover's Path for each row that we have put out here for our Gemini. Thank you for being here. It got really dark. <laughs> but anyways, it's it's the way, uh, it's the time. I didn't realize how much time has passed by, but we're almost finished here. So let's see. For our Gemini, let's pull out the Lover's Path. We have the Princess of Coins. So the Princess of Coins is someone who's learning and is grounding that learning from past experiences okay so this is what you're surrendering to and then we have strength you have strength in the heart now you're 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 feeling more secure you know you're definitely finding more strength in your heart to express what you want don't be afraid don't let anybody criticize you or judge you on on how you feel or what you want love with commitment and then we have the magician magic yes so stay in alignment with your heart and your mind and you will manifest exactly what you want but it takes practice you know once you you have to keep focusing on that because once you lose focus well it dissolves and you have to start all over again let's see if there's any scarlet energy here for you or promising energy let's see the scarlet um love cards romance cards are very important in showing us anything that is deeper or 
maybe a red flag, something that will help us, help you. Okay, so Gemini, stay right there where you are. Let's see, we'll pull three cards out for the Scarlet energy here. A chaser. <laughs> There might be someone who might be chasing you, but you don't, you're not the chaser. No, 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 no. That I could definitely know. Someone is going to make you feel their love. Someone's going to want to chase you, but I don't feel that you're going for that. No. You're very youthful in your heart. Um, so I think that you should definitely keep that um, inner child always in the youthfulness of love so that uh, this, it's, it's just never ends, you know. It, the child in us is always someone who's very inspired. And so keep your heart youthful, no matter what happens, all right, from this. And don't settle for compromises, okay? Um, or you can compromise and not give up on the relationship. But I feel here in the, in the final column of this reading, don't compromise anymore. No more for you. That's what I feel. Let's take one more card here to finalize this reading for our Gemini. What is it that we want? What is the final message for a Gemini in this reading? What can we give them to help them? Anyway, it's been fun. I hope you've enjoyed your reading. And for our Gemini, what is the final message? There's more to know than what you currently know. So keep your heart open, surrender, make sure you're always expressing your truth, Gemini, and be confident about it. Love yourself, take care, be well now, bye-bye.